All right, everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a new AI software to transform your voice into your favorite YouTuber. Or maybe, maybe you want to sound like your favorite VTuber. Or maybe, maybe your favorite anime character of the season. I'm going to be teaching you all of that and more. So let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. So the voice changer we're going to be using today is W. Otaka's voice changer. Now, this link will be down in the description below. So all you got to do is click it. It'll be the top link and then scroll all the way down until you see this chart. Now, if you have a dedicated graphics card, which really you should if you want to like get this to work, um, you're going to want to get this Windows CUDA version. And there's a Mac version as well. I haven't tested it, so um, you'll have to find an another tutorial for Mac. But for Windows, uh, with a dedicated GPU, go ahead and get this CUDA version. Now, you can try the Google Drive, but it's very popular. So you got to go to Hugging Face, or if the Google Drive works, just download that. It's just a zip file. Um, and then if you don't do that, you'll have to go to Hugging Face, which will open up this tab. And then you'll just have to find your applicable uh, like version that you want. You can see there's a few different versions here. We're just going to go with the latest one, 1.5.3.9. A, <laughs> a. <laughs> um, so then it's a little hard to see, so you'll just have to find it. It's actually this one right here. Um, and I could tell by the bottom left on at least Google Chrome, it sort of shows you the whole URL. Um, you can't really see it because it's cut off here. So you just want to click on this download button and it'll start to download for you. Now it is quite big and I already have the program. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this download, but obviously you're going to want it. So just let it download. It's safe. Now, while that zip file is downloading, I would recommend making a folder where you're going to like house all of your AI, like voice changer stuff. And then within that folder, you're going to want to put the zip file in there once it's done. And then I would make another folder called models. And this is where you're going to store all of your downloaded models that I will show you how to download once we get this program up and running. So after you have the zip file in this folder, go ahead and extract it, get this folder that's inside of there. And then once you open it up, you'll see all of the files in here. Now, the main one you'll want to concern yourself with is down here at the bottom, the start underscore HTTP. And honestly, since this is really the only file that you need in here, I would recommend holding alt and then just dragging it out to the folder that you created earlier. And then that'll just create a link. So then you just double click this to start it. And then you don't ever have to go into that other folder again, unless if you're troubleshooting or, you know, another thing. Now you'll see as I double click that to open, it starts running this command prompt and you'll want to let this load. It's going to be slow, you know, initially. Um, and it's going to have to install, you know, depending on how many like Python stuff you have, because it uses Python. Um, so it may take a while to install. And if you run into issues, it uses PyTorch. So you might have to look up some tutorials on how to install PyTorch. But this assumes that you already have that or it, it installs automatically. I already had it prior to downloading this. So I didn't really have any issues. I just let it run its initial installation phase. Um, but yeah, you just let this load. And you'll see here it popped up with this extra screen. And it's still loading, so it's still, you know, booting up and all that. But it's eventually going to finally finish loading like this. So when you're in the actual voice changer, this is what it's going to look like. Now, these four up at the top here are the starting voices that it already comes preloaded with. These are three that I've already installed, and I will be walking through the process of installing a third, uh, I guess a fourth, um, sort of as we get through all the settings here. So I'm just going to switch over to... Uh, this voice, one of the just preloaded ones, and sort of show you around the interface. Now, one thing to note, these four models are Japanese models. So they're trained on the Japanese voice and language. So if you don't speak Japanese, it might sound a little bit bad because it's focused like it was modeled and trained off of Japanese. And if you're speaking English, it wasn't necessarily modeled off of English. Um, so it might sound a little bit worse, but if you try speaking Japanese into it, it's going to do pretty good. So before we go ahead and mess around with all the settings to make it sound nice, let's go ahead and, and just try it out. Now, if you haven't tried it yet, make sure your input and output is set to whatever your default or you know whatever your settings are input is obviously the microphone or your um i guess like computer microphone or whatever microphone you're using set that to the input and then the output just whatever you know your system like speakers or headphones or whatever that may be for you 
and then just leave everything else the same and just see how it sounds and you start it by hitting the start button now you'll notice it takes a few seconds to build up it's a few seconds to and build then up. it starts to kick in and a little bit here. it starts to kick in a little bit here now you'll notice there is quite the delay because it has to process in the background and this delay will be greater or worse depending on your own personal setup i have a gtx 1080 and it's not like the best graphics card there are like you know rtx 300 you know whatever they're on now and you know it gets quite high and you can get pretty fast response times if you have a better graphics card but i have a relatively moderate graphics card and this is maybe like what the average person might have so this will probably give you a good representation of what to expect okay so just sort of like focusing on the voice here it sounds a little weird it doesn't sound like like a, a girl's voice it sounds just like it just sounds unnatural so to start gain in and out just focuses on how loud it is so if you if your microphone's naturally low just bump up the in if your headphones sound low bump up the out that's all it does now tune is where it's really going to start getting interesting by default it's set to zero but if you're using a voice that is a higher pitch than what your voice level is you're gonna want to bump it up if your voice that you're using is a lower pitch than your normal voice, you're going to want to bump it into the negatives. Now, a pretty good starting point is plus or negative 12. Um, so just start at 12. Since I'm using a higher pitched voice, I'm going to go to 12. And then now if we take a listen, it sounds a lot better. And then we can adjust this as we want and hear how <laughs> it changes, but maybe like around 14. Now, I don't know, like, what this, like, who this character is, um, and I don't know what she normally sounds like, but I think this sounds pretty good. Now, you'll notice the voice there just got cut off. I'm having a weird issue where it's sort of cutting off. I've noticed that changing Harvest to Crepe actually sounds a little bit better and makes that cutoff not as harsh. Now, Chunk is sort of, I don't know how best to describe it, but in essence, it's how fast and how like chunky and how audible like the voice actually is. So if we go all the way to eight, you're going to instantly hear. You can't understand. What I'm saying because it's so choppy and it's just because the chunk is so low, it's only decoding like eight at a time. So you can't hear it. So chunk level 384 is pretty standard and works decent for some models. If it still sounds a little bit weird and choppy, keep working your way up until it doesn't sound like that. But keep in mind that the higher the number is, the higher the delay is. And because it's using, you know, so much graphics, you know, it's going to vary depending on your own personal graphics card, but typically, you know, you can see here this number in milliseconds, that's the delay. Now, extra just sort of helps it even more. So if you can afford to, you know, go as high as you want, it's going to typically make it sound a little bit more fluent and just sound more natural. But like I said, go ahead and play around with these settings and just you know figure out what works best for your system now i should have mentioned this earlier but if you haven't checked your gpu make sure you select your gpu instead of your cpu um just because it's going to be a lot faster typically one more thing i want to note on this page before we get into the advanced settings is if you notice that your microphone doesn't pick up your voice enough this by default is zero just go ahead and bump that up to however high it needs to be um I like to bump it up just to be safe, but, um, you know, not everyone needs it. So now going into the advanced settings, um, just sort of copy these settings. I don't, I haven't changed anything. Just make sure this is on the max 300 for Trancate is 300. Definitely do that. It just sounds a lot better. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and copy these settings. Um, I mean, you can play around with them. I haven't really played around, but I think it sounds fine the way it is with with this i had to bump this up <laughs> now this model doesn't actually sound that bad in english you know it sounds pretty fluent and it even sounds like there's a little bit of an accent in there which is pretty cool but if you happen to know some japanese you could also try speaking in japanese and see how it sounds so you can see that also sounds quite good and you know there's not really any issues with it um and just luckily the english works well with this one too now you can go ahead and play around with uh the other voices we're gonna go ahead and show you how to import your own voice 
So to start, you're going to have to download a voice. Now, the best place that I've found to do that is this AI Discord server. Now, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below, but just go ahead and join it. It's free. And then scroll down and uh, open up this voice models chat. And then in here, you'll see that people have app, like uploaded a bunch of different voices. Some of them are hit or miss. Um, so usually they'll have like some examples. So I am going to do Markiplier. He has a pretty cool voice. So you'll, you know, search whatever voice you want. If they don't have it, you know, you may just have to wait a few days because people are constantly, um, you know, uploading stuff. But if you have a specific request, you can go into the request a model and then someone might do it. Um, and if you want a specific video on like how to like make your own voice and how to train your own model, you know, let me know down in the comments below and, you know, maybe we can discuss uh, how to do that. But I'm um, going back to Markiplier here. It sort of went away over here but it's still pulled up on the side here um so you're gonna just want to hit this link and then hit continue to download because it's it's usually safe and if it's not people you know will likely report it and it'll be removed um but yeah you just download that it'll download it here now i've already downloaded it but it's already finished like so there's no point in canceling it <laughs> so go back to your file explorer go ahead and drag this file into this models folder now you'll see here are my other models because i've done this before you'll want to go ahead and extract um this and it'll open up into a folder just like this and then you'll download it now this uh image file shouldn't be there but what i like to do is i like the models to have images so i just click the one that they have in the discord and then drag it into the file explorer and then boom you have your image to upload just into the program but this has everything else that you need and you don't need the image so now back in the voice changer go ahead and click this edit button up here and then that'll bring up all of your models so then you just scroll down and you'll notice you should have um up to nine blank here and you can overwrite the ones that they come with um but just go ahead and hit this upload button and then for the model, you're going to want to hit um, the select file button and then go to your folder. Now, for the model, go ahead and do the .pth and open that. And then for index, you don't need an index. And some models won't come with an index. But a lot of them on that Discord come with an index. It'll be an indexed file type. So you click that, open it. Um, and honestly, I don't even use the indexes, but they're sometimes just nice to have in case you need it. Um, and in case it does happen to sound better with it, so it doesn't hurt to just upload it. But if you use the index, it will take a longer time to load. Um, and then we'll talk about that here in a second once we get in here. But um, and then you'll see how it says no image. This is where that image that we downloaded comes into play. Click that, double click that, and boom, we have our image and we're good to go. So now we just click over here to change to the voice. Um, and I should have mentioned, you should be saving your settings, uh, once you tune around with it, because if you save your settings, you can save it individually, uh, for each character because, you know, some voices are going to sound completely different and need different settings. Now we're in Markiplier's voice and we can hit the start button and you'll start to hear that my voice button, starts start to, to sound hear like that Markiplier. My voice starts to sound like Markiplier. Now, because I have a deeper voice, it already matches pretty okay, but I'm gonna still go ahead and turn down the tune until it sounds nice. And you can see that already sounds better. Now, the, the settings on Discord recommended that you start at negative 12 for the typical male. I don't really watch Markiplier, but that sounds a little too deep in my opinion. So maybe I'll go around negative 10. I think that sounds pretty good. That sounds um, pretty on target, I think. Now, if you have a naturally higher voice, I have found that the voice tends to sound better if you try to match how it sounds originally, it, it needs to do less work. So if you naturally try to lower your tone of voice, it, you'll see that it matches it a little bit. But make sure that you're adjusting the settings because there I went lower than I usually go and it was too low on this meter. So if I kept that naturally, I'd have to uh, turn the tune back up now index let's go ahead and talk about index here index sort of just changes how it sounds like it tries if you have the index on it tries to match your voice a little bit more but that means it takes a longer time and to be honest i don't really notice too much of a difference between it being on and off i think 0.5 sounds pretty good but to be honest 
just I, I just stick, stick to zero. It doesn't sound too different to me. Now you may be thinking now that you have the voice of your dreams, I want to use this in Discord. How do you get it to use in Discord? The simple answer is you need a virtual microphone. And essentially what that is, is it's a track that you can play things to or, or route things to, to make it output. And then you just set that to your output. I'm not going to go too in depth with that. There are free programs that you can download that'll do that. And you know, there's tons of videos online how to do that. So yeah you'll have to like look into that and if you want a specific video on it i can you know make it specifically for this program but usually you know any old tutorial will work for that now not all models are going to sound super great so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to this i hoshino um and this one just doesn't sound, sound as good like this is i think the worst one that i have um it sounds pretty choppy and it doesn't like i can't get the voice to sound exactly right but when you have a particularly like tricky voice like don't just keep it at default of 12 like play around with it and see you know which sounds more natural and it can also help to play a video or whatever of the person talking and then try to match it and then just go back and forth and say the exact same phrase um, that they're saying and one of the reasons I think this model doesn't do as well is because um, it's it's a Japanese model and because I'm speaking English it, it wasn't trained on English but I found that this model actually does quite well when I speak Japanese so for example I'll just try talking in Japanese with this model so you can see there it sounds it sounds pretty good you know but it can be a little bit tricky and it sort of depends on how much data it's been trained on and when you're just downloading other people's models you can't really assure quality so you know sort of mess around with it and sometimes it's just not going to be a good model and you have to wait for a new one so you'll have some models that just don't work super well and maybe just they won't work with your voice maybe your voice isn't compatible but sometimes you'll find a voice model that works super well and it sounds almost identical so for example this guda model that i have sounds really good with these settings but yeah i just some voices are gonna sound really good some not so much so just play around with it try downloading a few um and have fun but be safe and don't do illegal things and don't try to imitate people and pretend that you are someone use it more for like funny things and like you know, always have a disclaimer when you're using this that, you know, it's not your voice and that you're not the actual person. I think that's important to know because you don't want to go getting yourself into legal trouble. <laughs> so I believe I covered everything. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to answer every single comment that we get. Um, but yeah, like I said, have fun. And as this technology evolves, I'll continue to make videos and update you on it. And to search the largest collection of AI tools, check out our website at ai-search.io.